Hello everyone, this is uh, Keith from Investment Modes. Now, uh, this video is going to be a, on troubleshooting, uh, specifically on my free stock portfolio tracker. Now, my free stock po portfolio tracker is this, this uh, free Google spreadsheet that allows you to actually track, like, if you have in investments in different currency, right? It allows you to track these investments based on transactions. Because uh, let's say if you buy some stocks, uh, um, they can, there's a look, there's gonna be some um, buy transactions. Like over here, there's some buy transactions. There's definitely some that provides dividend, and then there's some sell transactions. So what you want to do is that based on all these transactions, you want to ag aggregate them um, over here so that you can know what is your cost. Uh, what is your unrealized gains and then what is the dividend collected so uh, i think a lot of people like this spreadsheet because it allows them to do that now another nice thing about this spreadsheet is that uh it sort of like auto grabs the price from certain data sources such as yahoo or google google and this is a uh, quite an in-demand feature but some of you might have realized that uh, recently uh, the Yahoo prices uh, 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 they, they are not able to successfully grab the Yahoo prices now this can be due to a lot of reasons but but the recent uh, recent problems have have been uh, primarily attributed to how Google actually implement uh, some of their internal functions so you can see over here that there's no Yahoo prices and for a lot of you all you're using an, an an older version of this stock portfolio tracker and for a lot the implementation is actually uh, being uh, the prices are actually uh, taken from my ser a flat file from my server uh, that is propagated to this yahoo data ref sheet so over here you can see that there's this error exclamation mark over here which means that it's not able to grab the file from my server which the file is actually there so over here you and this is a pro this the, the issue with this problem is that google has some problems uh, um, handling this csv file uh, files extension so there can be a few implementations that are, that are done over the year it's either this or through let's say uh, a, a, a script and most implementation is uh, has is involving some csv file so there is some issue there and then if you cannot get the data over here you cannot get the prices over here as well you can see all the prices are uh there's some problems with it now i published an article this this morning uh, explaining this problem and also like that there, there is a new implementation that it will allow you to update the prices from Yahoo Finance uh, for now. So uh, what you can do is that you can Google you can Google this this title solution to Yahoo Finance data not refreshing in Google spreadsheet and you should be able to uh, hit hit the article. So if I copy this over here, if you Google this, yep, that's the top entry so you should be able to find this quite easily now what i'm going to go through today is um, for those of you who have an existing implementation on my stock portfolio tracker uh, i'm going to show you like how to actually um, um, use this new implementation sort of like fix this problem so that you can get get the prices up, updated from, from from yahoo so i have this uh, this 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 spreadsheet over here where the prices are actually not working so um let me make a copy of this one um you can actually for for your at home you all can actually uh, make a copy of, on this spreadsheet over here but because i'm showing you guys i think it's better for me to make a copy so i'll come over here to make a copy and then i will call this video test and then let's go over to the front let's remove all this all right let's make a copy you will need to open this spreadsheet uh, let's give it give it a while okay so we can close this 
this other one which uh, we do not need to touch right now so uh, for y'all you all can can do it on the the exact exact spreadsheet now you can see that the prices are not updating okay so so you also need to launch this article okay so if you scroll down to a certain section right um let's scroll down i talk a little bit about this problem like how 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 my solution actually work in the first place i will not go to elaborate too much about this but if you scroll all the way down there is this section called for those that have an existing older version of my free stock portfolio tracker this is the instructions how to how to uh, implement this new implementation so first we need to go to tool script editor so over here on this bar you go to tools and then you go to this script editor so what you launch is that this 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 javascript editor it allows you to create various functions right which you can implement and and do funky things with your spreadsheet over here but for this implementation what what we need to do is that you need to scroll all the way down we're gonna insert something at the end okay now go back to my article right on my article there is this part where it says step two copy get y price function into script editor so there's two get y price two and price three there's two different kind of implementation so what you can do is that you copy you you use your mouse cursor highlight over and you select everything make sure that you select even the last parenthesis make sure that it's the end on your keyboard you press ctrl c or if you want to right click and then click copy you come over here go to the last row make sure that you are not like in the middle and then you just right click paste and then you can see that you, what what this does is actually it, it inserts this two function over here all right now you need to save these changes so over here there is this save button you click save okay i hope you all can see all right let me enlarge this one so this is a save button you can click click save to actually save it all right now next we need to test whether these fun these two function is working or not so over here there is this select function let's click on this one let's test get y price three all right and then let's click on this thing called run all right now if you have never been to this script editor before it will ask you to actually they, they want you to actually do some authorization because um, they don't want you to run malicious things so click on review permissions click on the accounts that you want to run it with you'll bring to this page where you, it's like there's nothing nothing much you can you can do on this screen click on the advanced and then you'll review this link over here go to yahoo finance data and save if you click on this one they will ask you whether you want to allow to see edit create on this spreadsheet and connect to external device click on allow all right so you run for a while all right so you to see whether it's successfully implemented or not you go to over here view logs and then you can see that uh, there are some text over here now by default right these functions right if you don't pass in any code, stock code symbol right by default it will try to grab uh, this vwra.l now vwra.l if you put in google right uh, it is actually this etf called vanguard FTSE all world uses accumulation so you can see the current price is like 97.0 if we come back over here go to view logs it shows 97.0 so it's successfully grabbing the latest latest price okay so now now we have, we have done with this one right we can either implement this or this uh, over here we want to try to grab the latest price all right so what you need to do is that you come over back to this spreadsheet all right let's we have done all this already okay so what we need to do is that uh, there is this section where you say implement get y price 2 or get y price 3 now go so you will add this one uh you will modify modify your stock stock summary uh by 
putting in this formula so you copy this one control copy all right and then the yahoo price is actually it will actually reside in this cell g2 over here so this is the existing formula so what you do is that let's overwrite this whole thing by okay let's overwrite this whole thing by pasting this all right so what this does is that it will check on cell e2 so your yahoo stock code have to be over here so the first one is starhub so this is starhub's uh stock code on yahoo uh, you use this one and then let's press enter see what happens okay so you can see that it grabs the latest price now what you can do is that you can drag all the way till the end all right and then they will grab all the price now one thing you'll notice is that a lot of them will fail this is because uh, for this spreadsheet right the symbol is not not according to to uh, yahoo finance so yahoo finance uh, for singapore stocks right there is a dot si behind so let's say if i change it to some of these to, to si you can see that they will probably be picking up the stocks already Ah, so you can see that over here soy built business space it, 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 it has grabbed 0 0.51 over here this is various center point it, it grabs 2.36 all right now go to back to sell to if you want your other sheet to have this one right just copy again copy all right then we go to let's say over here this sheet you click on this sell yahoo price over here so you overwrite this and then you paste this over here so you'll try to reference this yahoo stock code over here and then you can propagate down and then see whether you is able to grab, grab the results or not so you can see um, the results are pretty similar to what google google are, is able to get except for this one you're not able to grab so that's how you uh, how 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 you can grab the latest yahoo price with this this implementation now a little thing about this implementation is that there is a certain like five five thousand milliseconds sleep it will not try to grab immediately uh, 500 five thousand milliseconds is like about five seconds uh, so so five thousand times a random number so and it will just you just spread out the 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 retrieval of, of these prices so that so so that it plays nice with Google spreadsheet. Now, uh, that's the end of my video. If you like, uh, if you if you appreciate what I do, right? What you can do is that at the end of this article, there is a donate to Keith here. Uh, I uh, uh, if you would like to support me, you can you can click on this button and then you can donate any amount that 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 you want. All right.